Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you, Chairman, uh, Professor Finger Hart, and uh, Professor Oga Baez, uh, my uh, respected uh, surgeon. So uh, today, uh, I'd like to talk about um, uh, our challenge in young surgeon training uh, system. I have uh, no COI in this presentation. This is our uh, milestone in uh, lap hepatectomy. Actually, uh, we started the lap hepatectomy using hybrid method because we have uh, uh, significant uh, experience, uh, significant CO2 gas embolism in the first case. This is our indication of uh, lap hepatectomy. We have uh, no limit in the uh, tumor location, but uh, uh, basically, uh, size limit is uh, less than five millimeter in diameter. But uh, uh, sometimes the bigger uh, tumor can be indicated. We had uh, uh, 140 or more cases, uh, and uh, uh, one third of, of the procedures uh, is less sided uh, hepatectomies uh, due to uh, uh, easy technical standardization. Our short term outcome uh, seems to be excellent. Uh, actually, uh, morbidity rate uh, of uh, uh, Grabby and Dindo, three or more, uh, less than 5%, and uh, mortality rate, including 30 days and uh, 90 days, is 0%. And long-term survival, uh, focus on uh, HCC uh, looks uh, excellent. Uh, actually, a five-year survival rate uh, over 77 percent. So now, uh, lab, uh, hepatectomy is the uh, uh, best way to treat uh, uh, liver tumor. The next step, I mean, uh, our next uh, mission is uh, introduce this promising uh, procedure to young surgeons smoothly. So the aim, uh, the aim of our study to clarify the effect of our integrated method for young surgeons to perform lap, uh, left hepatectomy uh, lap, uh, LHX. I'm going to introduce uh, you uh, uh, our standardization and uh, uh, step by training method and show you the uh, results. Uh, we routinely uh, dissect the uh, tissue and ligament around the left lobe and the uh, root of uh, left hepatic vein. And uh, we usually uh, encircle the uh, during a ligament uh, for preparation of uh, pringle maneuver. And finally, uh, encircle. Uh, the uh, rough first Grissonian pedicle using uh, uh, the Alantius method uh, by adv advocated by uh, Dr. Cho. I'm going to show you the Alantius method. Uh, mobilization of the left lateral segment and uh, uh, Alantius duct uh, dis uh, dissected and uh, uh, with retracting the stump, the space uh, behind the uh, uh, pedicle was dissected and the pedicle uh, was encircled uh, using uh, uh, endorectal maxi, like this. And finally, uh, the pedicle uh, is transacted uh, by endostraper, like this. Next is uh, our step for its training method. First step is the training using a uh, uh, dry box. Second step is a preoperative uh, simulation. And third step is self-assessment and uh, uh, feedback after uh, practice in OR. Young surgeon must uh, do training uh, using a uh, dry box uh, from basic to uh, advanced uh, level of tax. And the young surgeons must record the number of training and the uh, number of uh, level of training uh, per week. And the data uh, should be used for my decision making to determine 
the operator next week. And the Yannick surgeon must make a 3D uh, simulation image by themselves to better understand uh, detailed anatomy, including uh, dangerous anatomies. And also, young surgeon must uh, do a virtual hepatectomy to recognize the uh, vessels on the cutting plane during the parenchyma uh, dissection. And third step, this is very important, expert uh, feedback. The uh, young surgeon must complete the, uh, this self-assessment seat, and the uh, uh, senior surgeon meant to check it up. And finally, uh, I check this seat and make some uh, uh, advice. Actually, I tell I made advice uh, for young surgeons. So I'm going to show you the uh, results. Uh, we used uh, uh, 23 patients uh, who underwent a lap, uh, lap hepatectomy and divided into two groups, young surgeons group and uh, senior surgeons group. After the introduction of this tech, uh, training uh, system, uh, the age of uh, surgeons are getting uh, younger. And there is no uh, difference uh, in the background variable between the two groups. Regarding the uh, blood loss and operating time, uh, no difference was found between the two groups. Also, uh, there is no uh, difference in other uh, operative variables such as the uh, conversion rate and uh, morbidity rate. So, our integrating uh, method uh, is very useful for young surgeon to master up uh, left, right, uh, left uh, hepatectomies. In this in discussion, uh, recently, uh, proficiency-based structure uh, training method is uh, reported to be very useful for young young person training, and also uh, 3D simulation using a 3D printed model uh, reported to be a contribute. Uh, to a more uh, realistic and effective uh, training. And finally, the expert feedback is reported highly important in the surgical uh, training. So I would uh, like to conclude my talk. Our procedure standardization of lap, uh, left hepatectomy and the step-wise training enable young surgeons to perform lap, uh, left hepatectomy easily and safely. Thank you for your attention.